Hi there, welcome to Travel Tart TV and I have Sally Lynch who's from Ta uh, Taste Trekkers. She's been here at the Hampton Food Festival in the just cooking up a storm and cooking all sorts of stuff. So look Sally, just um, just give us a, a quick like, couple of second intro about yourself, what you do and that sort um, of thing. I run a foodie travel business. So I take food tours locally around Brisbane and I take food tours overseas to Japan, Spain, Vietnam. And we just see it through the eyes of a food lover. Like one thing, I was just checking your website, and I noticed you've taken trips to Sicily before. Yeah. Um, so actually, my my um, background's half Sicilian, so is my cameraman over here. And um, you know, one thing I've, I've, I figured out, like, is um, when you've got like you know lots of relatives and they just stuff you full of food. Um, I had to then check myself in his excess baggage on the next <laughs> flight. Do people on your tours do that as well? Yeah. It's a bit of indulgence. Yeah, it it's hardcore yeah. indulgence. Yeah. In fact, like Sicily was nuts because they really do eat. But you kind of it took everyone a while to pick up because you know how you get your bread and then you you know you have the antipasto and then you have a bit of pasta and it's seven courses. Yeah. And we're eating everything, <laughs> so we're eating everything. You know, we're yeah. like, oh, this is so good, and then it gets to meat. And we're like, oh, there's more. So then we realised that no one else, the Sicilians yeah. aren't eating at all. Yeah, <laughs> it's all about gas. It's like, manja, manja, keep eating, keep eating until you fall over and, and, yeah. and burst. So, yeah. But, um, okay, look, this is your first time at the Hampton first Festival? First time. Yeah, so what do you think about it, like, just in terms of the produce and, and well, the festival really itself? it's really cool. It's a cool little festival. I love these country festivals because you get to meet the producers. Like, you know, these people grow water, love these fruit and vegetables to bits. Taste it. I mean, I know that sounds you know, cliche, but it's fantastic. Yeah. It's and like you know, growing it. It's like any stuff you've grown in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. You know, it just hasn't sat in a truck for yeah. you know <laughs> two weeks, getting to a cool yeah. room which it sits in for a month. They just they've picked you know, all this stuff we've used today. They've picked this morning. Yeah. Cool. It doesn't cool. get much better than that. That's all. That's pretty cool. And just just finally, I tend to you know talk to foodie types um, about like what's the weirdest thing you have either cooked. Or you've thrown into your mouth that hasn't left you on the toilet for a few days? Well, whale sperm. Whale sperm? Japan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, because I was with this other foodie and yeah. she's going, we've got to eat whale sperm. Let's go and find some whale sperm. I was just like, no. But then you get there and you're a bit like, oh, I can't, you know. And the other thing is in Vietnam, they have those um, the little chickens that are half formed in the eggs. Oh, like the loot type thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, my... you know. Yummy, I'm going to go out and get Yum some right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Sally, look, thanks very much for your time. And look, if you're around um, the Hampton uh, Hampton area, like just uh, west of Brisbane around May each, each year, come up and pick yourself, pick out Tilly. Yeah, it's good thanks, for, thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks,